G'day guys. Welcome back. <laughs> as soon as I start the video, the builders start making noise. I've got plumbers here today, so I do apologise for the noise if there is any more, but just they need to just get in and get the job done. Oh gosh, I've left a fingerprint. Right, now, uh, today I'm using my geode mould, as you can see, the geode edges. Now this one doesn't have... Um, the rock edges, like my other one does. And I couldn't wait because, you know, the resin was sitting. Because I thought, oh, I'll wait. You know, you've got to wait. I've been waiting 20 minutes. 20 minutes for the resin to um, get to, well, not, not to a certain temperature. It's going to put um, an ounce in there. But it's been quiet up until now and I thought I'll just sneak a video in and then of course as soon as I sneak a video in then the noise starts. Right, so that's, that's an ounce in there, 30 grams. Um, I'm going to put a little bit in here. This is the Platinum Art Coat. So what I want to do today is I want to do the 3D blooms, but I want to turn them into little trinket dishes. I haven't done that really for a long time, so I thought I'd do that today. So yeah, it's the Platinum Art Coat. Um, I have mixed up 125 grams of A, 115 grams of B. This is black. I'm going to put a little bit of black around the outside. Last time I put the um, colour on first and then poured the... Um, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I poured the resin afterwards and it sort of all pulled in, but I'm going to try and, and see if I can change it this way. Um, and maybe the colour will kind of stay on the outside a little bit more. I, I don't know. Because I want to do the bowl, I can't really do a top coat. I mean, I could if I changed resins, but I'm just going to use the one resin. Okay, that looks pretty dark. With five drops of alcohol ink. Now, um, that can just sit for a minute while I mix up my white. Now, I thought I'd go and try the cast and craft again because for those people that aren't quite sure how much white to use, because you know, you can say you dip your stick in and wipe it off and it's a little bit hit and miss, but if you do two drops, now I've cut the top of the nozzle off because it's really hard. One, two. It's really hard to get the cast and craft out sometimes because it's the little nozzle's just tiny. Now I'm going to do four drops of the Pinata White alcohol ink. And I get the lid off. One, two, three, four. So two drops of cast and craft, four drops of alcohol ink, and we'll see what that looks like, hey? Let's see how we go. Oops, I'm going to use the other side because that side's got black on it now. So with this particular resin, I don't take its temperature. I just wait 20 minutes until I decant, and then I wait another 15 minutes after that to the to pipe. But in saying that, I had to turn the heater on because it was only 17 degrees Celsius in here this morning. So the heater's on and it's now 19 degrees. If it's really cold, you probably have to wait longer for your resin to sort of start thickening up. Otherwise, your white can drop straight through to the back and then you get those blobbies. You know the blobbies that I'm talking about, don't you? Oh, that's really quite trans lucent. So the, also the good thing about having the drops, um, you can check the colour on your stick. So yeah, I, th I think it'll be alright. I don't want to add another one because I don't want it to be too heavy. Because when you mix, you use your mixing stick, uh, you know, to dip into the little tub of paste, it's a bit tricky to, to see uh, you know what color it is actually on the stick but it's it's like skim milk I can see through so let's leave it at that um, I'm also going to put some what should I do first oh I'm going to put some gold in the middle and then after I've done my trinket tr tray <laughs> trinket bowls I'm going to do the outside with some gold pen so I thought that would look pretty um, all right let's let's do this 
let's put the black around the outside hopefully I I can um, I haven't used all the all the resin that I made up I'm gonna put a little bit of a thin line here and hopefully it won't spread all the way to the center because like I said when I did those um, turquoise ones the other day um, the turquoise edge pretty much spread right over the whole thing and took over I don't know if I'll have enough now it's the same thing that happened oh gosh what's that something in there yeah the turquoise took over kind of all raced into the middle and then I, I just had the whole thing was turquoise but I'd rather have a little bit of dark edge this time if I can um, and then still have some clear in the middle that's why I thought I'll just try it this way and see I might have too much resin in here you know it's almost full almost full you just need to make sure that you don't fill your coasters up too full because you need to allow for a bit of displacement when you add your your white so I'm not adding any alcohol inks this time I'm just gonna do the sort of like a black outline I can't really pour any more of that out I'm gonna have to do it this way I'm gonna hope for the best Hopefully I don't make too much of a mess. There we go. That'll do. Gosh. All right. Now, hopefully that will kind of spread a little bit, but not too much. Get back in there. I just could have made up a teensy little bit more. All right, so that's more white done. Give it another little torch because I can see bubbles accumulating in the middle there. Just don't get too close if you're using a torch because you will melt your silicone and it'll stick to the resin. Just try and neaten that up a little bit. Although it's going to move anyway. Right, so now I want to do a little bit of gold in the middle. I've got my cute little little spoon already in here. Now let's see if I can actually put it in the middle. Not too much, just like half a little half a little spoon. One little spoon can do two of them. Well that first one was quite a full spoon. Whoops. There we go. How's that? Right, dig it back in there. Now these are 0.5 to 2 millimetres crushed glass is the size of those little dudes. Now let's just poke that down. Give it a little bit of a, a swirl. I just thought that the little bit of gold in the center would look nice with the gold edge that I'm going to do and if you use the crushed glass because it's heavy because it's glass um, it tends to stay where you've put it rather than if you use glitter or gold flake which also looks really nice but it tends to fly away and then it ends up not being in the middle where you want it really now because I've played with this one a bit much it's spreading anyway let's just I do want it to look a little bit sort of organic so I don't want just a big blob just kind of spread it a little bit more so it just looks a little bit more organic if you know what I mean rather than just a big blob just need a tiny bit more there all right so how's the time going 9 20 Oh, 9.25 I need to be piping, so I haven't got very long to go. I'll just organise my... Okay, I think I'm making it worse. <laughs> I'll organise my white and we'll get going. So I'm just going to pipe. 
And there we go. Pour that in. And I think I'm just going to make some, make a smaller hole today. So if you do a bigger hole, um, more white comes out and then it can get quite heavy because you've put a lot out and then it, it sort of sinks to the bottom. So it's just trial and error. If, if you've been doing these 3D blooms, you'll know what I mean. It just takes a bit of practice, but you'll get there. So it feels warm. It's not hot. Now I've got four minutes left to wait. So I am just going to put you on pause because it's 9.21 and I'm going to wait till 9.25. And I'll be right back. Right, it is 9.24, so let's get this show on the road. You can see the black's pulled in a little bit from the sides, which is nice. I was kind of deliberating whether or not I should put um, a drop of black in the centre, but I changed my mind. I thought, no, let's just leave it like this. All right, here we go. Now I'm going to make a little hole. about three millimeters wide a little bit smaller than I would normally do All right, I'm hoping it's opaque enough okay so here we go I'm just going to start with doing some some blooms some petals kind of biggish ones go right up to the edge of the mold don't touch the mold if you can possibly help it because then it kind of gets stuck the resin gets stuck to the side of the mold whoops I'll come in and I'll do another row gosh it's noisy in my house today isn't it the builders walking around dogs seeing them dogs barking at them <laughs> I'll just shut the door I probably shouldn't have bothered to, trying to do a video today, but I had this in my mind and I really wanted to do it, so we'll see. So this resin, it's going to take about between five and a half and six hours before I can come back and mould my little bowl. Because you want to be able to pick it up and handle it without it being sticky. So, last time I did a bowl, I did that green bowl. That's how long it, it took me. Now, I'm just going to go and do like just a random kind of a thing <laughs> like this. Just over the top, just some little like circles basically. to sort of fill in some of the gaps. It should be all right. The resins, I'm only doing little thin ones, so it should be all right, like so. All right, so that's all I'm gonna do. Um, oh, I probably need to do another row because see, I did this little one and then I did a big one up there, so I might just do another sort of row there so no particular sort of shape I started off with a particular shape but it's changed hopefully I'm not making my resin too heavy with white now but I haven't I haven't made it very opaque so it should be okay shouldn't it Yes. All right. Torch. Now I'm going to, do I want to wait or do I want to swirl? Do I want to, want to swirl? I think I'll swirl now. Just in case one of the builders decides to come in. <laughs> There's a bit of a blob. Yeah, just try and 
smooth your blobs if you've got any but because the sort of continual piping that I did I shouldn't have too many blobs really I'm gonna start in the middle I'm gonna not touching the bottom go around and then back into the middle I don't want to touch the bottom because I've got the glass there round and back into the middle in the middle round back into the middle in the middle round and back into the middle okay so that's it <gasps> hopefully they'll be pretty all right let me get you down and you can have a little look see what's happening it's it's really important i think not to have your white too opaque because it just it just gets too heavy and then it sinks that's why i thought i would show you the the drop because it's much easier saying two drops per 30 grams or per ounce of cast and craft and then four drops of um, alcohol ink in your 30 grams so it's just for those people who are struggling or you're new and you just think oh my gosh how much white do i put in because people just put some on their stick and then they wipe it off and you you really don't know how much is left on because there's different size sticks and some people wipe more off than others so that's why i thought i'll just do this um, and see if maybe it can help anybody right so um i am going to go and get my orders out for today my silicon molds and then up to the post office and by the time i get back it's 9 30 now so 10 30 11 30 12 30 1 30 2 30 3 30 this afternoon between 3 and 3 30 um we'll take these out and mold them i'm gonna have to find little bowls to put them in though aren't i but they look as if they are blooming this particular resin it's got a 70 minute seven zero minute work time so it'll keep moving and, and spreading and blooming for quite a while yet so oh, it's exciting all right i'll see you this afternoon right so it's been six and a quarter hours uh, i came back about half an hour ago and I touched this one and it left a finger mark, a fingerprint, so wasn't ready. But when you can touch it without it leaving a fingerprint, then it's ready. All right. Um, now, the other thing I've done is I've got my silicone spray and I put some on a bit of paper towel and I just wiped each of my little bowls. I'm hoping that these little bowls will be all right. It's the only thing I could find that was small enough. So ideally, plastic's better because you can kind of pop the plastic bowl and your resin will pop out but I've just given it that little spray of silicone oil so hopefully they won't stick so let's get them out hopefully they look pretty this one seems to have moved a little bit still very soft <laughs> oh gosh so I probably could have waited another half an hour but sometimes then it's not easy to put in the bowl Oh, that's pretty. Look at it. So pretty. All right, let's pop it in here. Oh, it fits perfectly. Yay. I was worried. Worried for nothing. Let's push it in all the way around. See, this is why you need to wait till you can touch it without having fingerprints. Otherwise, you'll end up with fingerprints all over it. So that'll look really nice with the gold edge, won't it? So there we go, one down. Probably should have waited. Oh gosh, just looking at the sides there. Probably should have waited another few minutes, maybe. Anyway, it's done now. It's done. Oh, that one's pretty too. That one's better. Look at that. I don't know why they're different, but they are. Let me move these out of the way for a minute. I'm going to try and get it centered. I find if I, if it sort of catches the lip there, um, and then when you push it down, <laughs> it's not very even. Oh gosh. Got 
and sort of bring it away from the edge and then push bring away push bring away okay that's it's it's not gonna it'll do it'll do doesn't matter close enough yeah otherwise um if it's still quite soft there's another one gorgeous if it's a bit soft then um you get this little lip here. I might redo this one actually. Because it's giving me the little lip I was talking about. I don't push push the whole thing in. Go from the sides. Mold's not exactly round, so it's it's a uh, it's a geode shape. It's a natural looking shape. It's not totally, totally round. So, okay, push in, bring the sides down. You can see why you need it to be soft enough so that you can mold it. Oh, they're so pretty. But um, not soft so that, um, you know, you don't want to leave fingerprints at all. So. Hatch it come. Come on. He says, I don't want to. I don't want to stay. All right. Oh, these look so cute. This one moved a little bit too. I don't know why. I don't know if it's got something to do with the alcohol. I'm not sure. This one, actually, this one doesn't seem to have as much colour on the outside. Maybe that's got something to do with it. I don't know. But I do know if I spray alcohol on, on the top afterwards, my blooms shift and move all over the place. So I don't do that anymore. Rather just give them a tiny little um, bit of heat with the torch. Oh, there we go. Look, you guys. So, so pretty. Move that out of the way. All right. So once they are set... can you see that once they're set um, tomorrow I'll come back tomorrow and um, I'll go around the outside with the pen yay they're so pretty <laughs> I really like them all right <sighs> so glad that worked I had to set my timer because I always forget these things so all right I'll be back tomorrow and we'll finish them off Right, it's the next day. These are all set. I had a go at doing this one inside the bowl <laughs> last night because I was just really eager to see how it looked. But um, as you can see, I marked the side of the bowl. These are just little, um, like, for, for, I think they're like for sauces. So, so um, anyway, if you try and get it out, it's, it's really hard because it's a ceramic bowl it doesn't bend like plastic does so this is why i said the plastic's much easier so what i do is i just get something like like a little palette knife something that's thin that's just going to be able to get in underneath there and just kind of release the suction and hopefully that will allow us oh there we go it just pops right out so a little bit of silicone spray helps and then also you just need to you know get in there and loosen it a little bit there we go I'll just wipe that off I might have to do both sides if you can get under somewhere <laughs> you can hear it releasing But yeah, plastic, if you if you can get plastic, it's much easier. And then, of course, you know, you don't have to risk scratching. Oh, this one doesn't want to come out. Get in there. The thing with the palette knife is it's pretty soft and it's kind of bendy, so you can actually get in underneath. So it's a good, good little thing. But um, yeah, keep your eye out on like different size, little bowls um, for different size resin bowls that you want to make um, and if you see them at the dollar store in different sizes just grab them and put them in your little box of supplies 
because it is so much easier than having to struggle with the ceramic bowls but I'll put the video in anyway as what, what I'm doing just so that you can see there we go so that's them done doesn't it look pretty so that's the one I did last night so I'm just going to do one for you now I've got my little bit of a card that's what I use to push 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 if it starts slowing down your gold if it starts slowing down you just push on that and get the color to run back down all right so there's nothing to sand it feels really nice and smooth and what I like to do is the top edge like so hopefully I'm in focus I can't really tell so do that all the way around it doesn't take a long time I'll just do one for you otherwise you'll be bored to tears with me doing all of them but I'll just do one because I like to do this top side and then I'll show you I do the edges as well this one's <laughs> there's a slight little fingerprint there this is the one I must have tested to see if it was done but um, yeah this resin I think it would have been better at say six and a half hours to leave it also because it's cold at the moment we're we're in winter in Australia so everything's taking longer to set up when I make my silicon molds it's taking longer to set up <laughs> and the resin's taking longer nearly there So, you know how we're saying it's it's tricky to do a, a top coat or a backing when you're doing bowls, but um, you can get around it by doing this, this sort of thing. Um, you know, putting, putting a, an edge of colour, maybe if you wanted it more, like if you wanted the colour right through the centre, you could put um, more colour around the edges and then pour your clear in and it'll basically give you a nice sort of background and then you can make your bowl so now I'm just following the inner edge all the way around with the nib of the pen I'm just sort of wedging it on that edge there I just like to have the, the edges done as well and uh, the scalloped edge of this mold I think just looks really really pretty as a little trinket bowl wouldn't that be a nice little gift to give to somebody handmade gifts are always nice aren't they so that's that and then if you want to you can do the outside edge as well just follow that all the way around I have to wait until it's dry though because I'm holding on to the outside edge there's nothing else to hold on to so oh, I guess you could if you were very careful you could do the outside edge and move it around <laughs> I've got 25 written on me I needed to buy a um a tray a 25 centimeter tray so <laughs> I wrote it on my hand <laughs> who else does that makes little notes on your on your hand oh dear probably wondering why she's got 25 written on her so that's why it's to remind me to jump onto eBay or Amazon and find a tray a little 25 centimeter tray all right I think I'm nearly done all right so there's one of them anyway um, I'm just gonna get my card my little piece of card right, move all these things out of the way I better put my lid back on all right so that's that's it there that's what it looks like with the darker background so yeah if you wanted to you know make more around the edge put more black around the edge um, you can still do a bowl and have um, the background so 
yeah, it looks really pretty, doesn't it? It's just sitting on a on the board, but whatever you've got, like if you've got um, maybe a little placemat or something, it'll pick up the colour of your whatever it's sitting on because it's sort of clear in the centre. So there you go. It's really pretty. Hope you've enjoyed that little video. And uh, let me know if there's anything in particular that you want to see me try and do. <laughs> try being the operative word. Lots of things still to try and learn. All right. Thanks again for watching. Take care. I'll see you all for the next video. Bye for now.